Hello everyone, I'm Miss Laura from Chin Park Library and today on Crafts and Creations I'm going to show you a fun, easy folding project that you can do with children of all ages. It's called a house book. So here's my house book I made. And so we folded it into the shape of a house and you can decorate it to look like your house or you can look like a fantasy house. This one's decorated to look like my house. And so inside, I have myself working downstairs, and I have my daughter working upstairs. And it's called a house book, because you can fold it up, put it all together like this, and carry it. Or you could open it up to display it on your table. If you wanted to write a story inside, you could. So, let's begin. Put my house over here. So for this, you need a rectangular sheet of paper. It could be any size if you want a bigger house you can have a legal size here I'm just using computer paper most people have a, a sheet of computer paper at home so I just have a plain white sheet of paper and I have some markers with me that I can use to decorate when I'm done so here's how you fold your house book you want to take your sheet of paper and we have a short edge and we have a long edge so we're going to fold the short edges together like this and we're going to make a crease in the middle. And we can call this the hamburger fold because it's the bigger bun. Okay. And then we open it back up and we're going to fold the long edge to the other long edge. And so you can call this a hot dog fold. And you make a crease. So you have the fold along the long edge. Now we'll open back up. Now you see we still have the creases in the paper. So now we're going to take the long edge and we're going to fold it up to the middle. Like this. And make a crease. And then we're going to open it back up. And then we're going to take the other long edge and fold it up to the middle. Just like we did with the other one. And I'll make my crease just like that. Then we're going to open it back up again. And so now we have our folded sheet of paper. Okay, now we're going to take it and we're going to fold it in half along the long edge for a hamburger fold. Okay, now we're going to do something called a shirt collar fold. We're going to take the corner and we're going to fold it in to the first crease like that. So I'm going to take my corner and fold it in and I'm going to crease it and we have like this and I'm going to do it on the other side. Another shirt collar fold just like this. Okay, I'm going to open it back up. This is where it gets a little tricky but you're going to take your corner and you're going to fold it in like this and you're going to put it inside see how it's inside and we're going to make a crease right along here and we're going to do it with the other side and I can make my crease here alright and then when you open it up, you have your house shape. So, we fold our house open. There we go. And then we can sit our house on the table and we can decorate it any way we like. Like I said before, you can decorate it like your house. You can make your fantasy house. You can write a story about your house. And this is really great for this coming school year because everyone's going to be at home learning. So you can, you can draw how you learn at home. Put yourself in your, in your room where you have your computer set up and everything like that. So I hope you enjoyed this craft today. I got this from Creative Bug. It's on our website. You can access it from the Prince William County Library website and um, go to creativebug.com. Hope you enjoy. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.